to the rudder horn. These are the pieces we're going to use. The square thing with a screw in there allows the linkage to be adjusted. The rod goes through the square thing. The little black thing is a keeper after you put the pin through the control arm you put the keeper on it so it stays in the control arm. On the other end we have uh, an adapter from the rod to thread. You can epoxy this rod in, um, solder it in. I'm going to put it in with hot glue. Alright, here's our rod, our adapter, and a clevis. The clevis is going to go on to the control horn on the rudder. Okay, I sanded the uh, end of the steel rod and here's the can't do that about that here's the threaded adapter I'm going to put a little dab of glue in it and then I'm going to run the rod right in there and some of the glue will come back out And then, when the glue starts to cool, you can roll it and make a better bond between the brass and the steel. All right, here we are with the uh, clevis <coughs> on the adapter. And just to show you a uh, piece of uh, rod through the uh, adjustable fitting here. I want to get this absolutely as low as I can, so I put it underneath the servo horn, which means in order to adjust it, I have to take the screw out, pop this off, adjust it, and then put it back on. It's a pain, but it gets me right down on the deck, on the wing, so that the propeller won't hit it. So I'm going to install this and show it to Okay, I took a piece of piano wire and I lined it up with <clears throat> the control horn on the uh, aileron and I pushed it through the foam up here to the control horn on the servo and then I slid a piece of uh, aluminum tubing down over it like that made sure it was lined up and pushed it into the foam it's in the foam there so all I gotta do is put a little piece of uh, drop of glue on there and uh, that should be watertight. And before I put this together, I'll get some marine grease. Um, I hear people using Vaseline. Do you realize Vaseline dissolves in water? You put it on a baby's butt and wash it off. Uh, and even car grease um, doesn't do well with water. It, it just wipe, washes away you need some sort of a marine product made for boats and uh, <coughs> I'm going to try to use some uh, control rods that I had from another uh, salvaged out of another plane but they're a little short so what I'm going to have to do is extend them a little bit you can see they're just just <laughs> you know two inches short but I have a piece of carbon tube that uh, just fits, this is a 80 thousandths rod, and uh, I think that's eighth inch tube. Fits right in there. So I can super glue that in there, and then just need a little piece of it, you know, uh, and add an extension, and I think I'm going to put the extension out here so it doesn't get tangled up with my my tube trying to go through the uh, 
the side of the hull. All right, here's how I did that. Here's a piece of uh, piano wire, and I took it. I lined it up with the control horn out here and the one in there. Pushed it through the foam. And I just kept working at it until it <clears throat> until it was right where I wanted it. Then I slid that aluminum tube down on there, made sure that fit. <clears throat> I don't want to go any further with this until the uh, Gorilla Glue I put around the aluminum tubes sets up and make sure that the control rods work. Remember we uh, glued the nose cone on and I sanded that down to a nice to me it's a pleasing shape. Um, put strap hinges on, the, on our ailerons. Hmm. You could at this point, glue the bottom on. We're all done in there. And once we get the servos hooked up, put a receiver in there. All right, this is the uh, speed control I've chosen for this. Actually, I've used it in a couple of Polaris. Polari? Polarises? whatever and uh, you can see I, I, I waterproofed it and then I used silicone to put this Lexan uh, uh, collar around it so I'm going to cut a hole in the top of the fuselage and set this in there and then silicone this this collar down under the top of the fuse so that this is right up in the air getting good cooling. Because during the summer these things tend to get warm. This time of the year you can put your speed control inside and it'll be fine. Come summer maybe not. Okay so I cut my hole and uh, stuck my speed control through there. I'll put a little silicone, <coughs> a little RTV silicone underneath the lip before I go much further. Um, I like to put a bulkhead in uh, in front of the speed control to isolate the battery area because I keep losing the battery hatch and uh, <clears throat> and sometimes when it you know when you nose in a little bit uh, it'll just rip the battery hatch right off and flood that compartment and I don't want all that water coming back here so <clears throat> I'm going to take and uh, Put a bulkhead right about there and seal it around those wires so that uh, we have less chance of flooding. All right, I got my bulkhead. <coughs> I spritz some water in there, got it all cut. Just put it right in there, slide it right into place. And maybe put a piece of tape like that to hold it. Anything to do. Here's some gift tape. <clears throat> there, that'll hold that until it dries. 